and joins us now with Marco Cicetto at the finish line. Steve? Hi, right, Lisa. Yeah, I'm standing with one of my uh, favorite runners. And, and Marco, he ran the race back in 2019, runs it again uh, this year. Which race was tougher, 2019 or this year? You know, this year was tougher because, you know, two years of not knowing if this event was going to be held. So there was a little bit of, you know, conservative training because I was not very certain that. But anyway, I, but I was, you know, I felt good. But until mile 12, I had an equipment failure. My right prosthetic wouldn't hold into me. I was losing suction. And I don't know what... I, might, I don't know what happened. So and you had an equipment failure? Yes, yeah, so at my 12, I was like, okay, now I have to think on how I will tackle the remainder, trying to make sure that my prosthetic holds on me. And there were a little bit of some areas where it was a little bit slippery, uh -huh. like the newly repaired road. You know, my contact is very, very small, so anything slightly wet was kind of like... So I kind of run conservatively today. Your, your balance is incredible. Now tell people you have to keep moving on this. Right? Yes, I don't have a heel. You can see this thing is like curved on the back. So I can't stand still. You can't stand still. I have to keep moving. And even when I'm running, if I step on a slight depression or even a rock, it just throws me off balance. So I have to balance and then it takes time before I can go back to the rhythm. But you know, I can't complain. I'm able to do this. Were you able to keep your balance all 26 uh, miles? Yes, I was able to. But, you know, when I was running and trying to make sure that my right prosthetic was holding, it kind of almost messed my hip. So by the, I think like my 20, I was starting to feel a little bit of discomfort. But, you know, I was not thinking about that. Mm -hmm. It was not an excuse. I was just like, I have to get to the finish line. How did you lose your legs? Frostbite in Alaska. Wow. I was stuck outside in Alaska November 2011 for more than 56 hours. So this is incredible to be alive and running and doing what I love to do. And that's why I don't even complain even with what happened today. I am very happy with my performance today because to me, this is a second chance in life. What an inspiration you are. And, you know, I am running this not because of myself you know my wounds are physical right? right a lot of people relate with me when they start seeing me you know they can share their experiences with me so when i'm doing do this i know i am running it for a cause i am also touching people's lives and particularly mental health people don't want to talk about that but i am an advocate of mental health i want everyone and even workplaces my goal is to have a society where someone experiencing mental health can call at work and say, I can make it to work today. I have a mental health issue. Just like you can call when you have a headache. Exactly. Hey, congratulations. I'm going to let you throw it back to Lisa. Just say, Lisa, back to you. Hey, Lisa, back to you. Oh, Marco, thank you so much.